an innovator named Jaydeep Tiwari has come up with an innovative device called Migre Relief. This is a boon for people suffering from migraine. Migre Relief is a drug-free and wearable solution for migraine and sleep issues. During migraine, the nervous system becomes hypersensitive, which causes chemical disbalances in brain, resulting various abnormal activities in blood vessels. In Migre Relief, the patented transducer helps to perform neuromodulation by generating infrasound waves, which helps to ease upon the overactive nerve. This ultimately modulates the abnormal nerve activities, alleviating the headache and sufferings. Welcome to another edition of Change Makers. Healthcare sector is one of the largest and most important sector of our country. And facilitating it even more with changing times and technology is only possible through some game-changing innovations. These innovations are important because as network of people and technology become more interconnected, healthcare organizations are going to need better tools for solving health challenges at larger scales. Today we have with us one such innovator named Jaydeep Tiwari who has developed an innovative solution in healthcare sector. Let's hear more from him. Welcome Jaydeep Tiwari. Please give us a brief about your innovation and the problem it solves. Well, Brahmanj is serving the domain of mental health care with its innovative flagship product uh, Migralief. Migralief helps people suffering from migraine headache pain and sleep. Okay, uh, Jaydeep, what made you work on this problem and what inspired you? So, in year 2017, uh, when we were in college, uh, I myself had a problem of general anxiety disorder. So, I used to visit many psychologists and psychotherapists and I was also very much interested in different kind of uh, uh, practices of meditation. So, I always wanted to, um, I, I always had a vision that uh, if we could use technology for uh, enhancing the brain capacity, that would be great. So, that's how I started reading uh, different research journals and articles and uh, got to know about many things uh, like uh, how we can uh, uh, how we can uh, see inside the brain with the help of EEG or MRI uh, scan um, or this kind of technology I got in aware and uh, sound technology um, at that time your headphones were used then uh, we thought that there could be a better solution for that so we invented bone conduction bone conductive sound infrasound and that's how it started in your year 2017. Great. So you participated in Smart India Hackathon in the year of 2018 as well. So can you please brief about your participation in SIH? So at the, uh, those time, uh, since uh, hands, headphones were available at that time, normal headphones with which we can hear through ear. Uh, but uh, we invented a technology uh, transducer which can pass the sound through bone. So if you put the transducer, uh, which is more like uh, in general term speaker, if you put it over here, then sound will pass through bone and it will reach the inner ear, that is cochlea, directly by passing your outer ear and middle ear. And because of that, it could be useful. It is useful for uh, uh, some categories of deaf person as well. Okay. So okay. we demonstrated it to many uh, incubation center and got a good response and uh, our professors asked to apply it for Smart India Hardware Hackathon. Fortunately, uh, we uh, got selected, shortlisted in three rounds, 17,000 applications were there. So that's how this journey started. Okay, great. I think you are the one of the winner of Smart India Hackathon 2018. Congratulations right. on this. Uh, migraine and lack of sleep are very common issues these days, but solution already exists there are medicine available for the same. So what makes your solution different or innovative? Right. Uh, this is the same question when we approached to uh, investors. They also asked that the coruscants and uh, many uh, different kind of painkillers are available then uh, and they are cheap. Why would they adopt? They go for uh, the device which cost uh, uh, somewhere about 10,000. So, uh, this is a very well-known fact and a very, very 
very much well documented in scientific community that uh, how this uh, allopathic medicine which are generally prescribed for pain treatment and uh, for uh, for in some way curing the migraine uh, when they these medicines are used for long time they cause many serious problems in long term like uh, liver issues um, stomach issues stomach upset and uh, in many cases when uh, for pregnant women this cannot be given uh, many medicines of this class cannot be given like beta blockers and many also there is this is very um, uh, interesting that uh, the exact cause of migraine is migraine is not known these medicines are only treating the symptoms managing the symptoms and uh, that is why they are just used for managing the symptoms and when they are given again and again uh, there is one term called rebound headache rebound headache happens means this headache will start happening again and again so there is no actual um, you know uh, solution available and when we take this medicines there is side effects so definitely there is a need of this kind of medicine uh, this kind of device which could uh, help people in relieving from migraine headache pain and we go with the agenda that this device helps in reducing the drug dependency of the migraine sufferers and uh, doctors are very much appreciating because they know that uh, uh how this medicine can be used uh, can cause side effects in a long term in short term just if it is happening once in a two month or two uh, twice in a one month then is then it is okay but many times this migraine usually happens six to seven times uh, a month uh, for many people so that is how it is different and th that is uh, how uh, we can see the use of the device yeah it's good to know that you have developed a, a solution without side effect for to treat uh, migraine uh, do you think the mental and psychological health issues should be discussed more openly in society so um, uh, when we talk about mental health uh, they basically happen because of uh, certain disorder in and in uh, many this kind of uh, problems generally these terms are associated like general anxiety disorder now anxiety happens to everybody but when it becomes disorder then uh, it's a serious issue because uh, they are not in order any time it will happen and similar is with the other problems like obsessive compulsion disorder is also a kind of mental health problem so it, compulsion happens in people uh, with relation to many things uh, because of insecurity and many things but when it becomes disorder means when there is no need but then also it will happen then uh, it becomes difficult so uh, definitely it should be discussed uh, it should be discussed uh, because uh, if we don't discuss it becomes a suppression and uh, that is how it will blast up like a vol volcano uh, and uh, it will lead to a more difficult situation so i feel it should be discussed as i discussed about myself like how we came up with the solution okay great okay. i feel uh, like you have developed a solution for your own problem and it's benefiting to everyone and uh, how uh, jaydi how does your product work can there be any chance of side effect so uh, when the when we see the basically this device comes into the category of brain stimulation when we see what all types of stimulation techniques are available to change the brain activity or to relax down the nervous system so we can categorize it uh, into broadly three way so first could be the electrical stimulation in which electrodes would be used and electrical impulses will be given second is uh, magnetic stimulation in which magnetic waves will be given that will go inside uh, the brain and it will change the again brain activity and third could be sound stimulation so in all this thing in all this uh, category sound stimulation is more safer and we use infrasound stimulation unlike ultrasound stimulation which is in the higher frequency zone which will heat up the brain and they cannot this cannot be given without the medical uh, supervision and uh, this ultrasound is very new 
uh, and it has many uh, you know critical uh, uh, critical uh, things come up when these are applied so basically these are three techniques but we are using sound because uh, sound is something to which body is very used to and that to bone conductive sound is that which we are already used to our uh, um uh, if we see our evolution we we have been evolved from the uh, oceans we, uh, so we used to you know uh, perceive the sound through bone conduction only so that is why this is very general and uh, mind actually changes his brain activity more easily more conveniently with the help of infrasound which is bone conductive and there has been no side effects because we have studied in more than 1000 in the span of four and a half year and uh, we have referred many research articles journals which have been published related to bioacoustics which are the similar methods so so far there have not been any side effects but yes uh, there could be discomfort to some people uh, and uh, just immediately after discontinuing the device they would be uh, again okay so, so really, in- uh, really interesting to know more details about your innovation Uh, Jayadev, how well has your uh, product been accepted? Are people comfortable with the idea of this alternative therapy? So, uh, uh, when we started approaching to doctors, out of ten, seven and eight were like uh, they were waiting for such kind of solution, because earlier we thought that when we would be approaching to doctors, they would be resisting because it could be a threat to what they actually they are already actually practicing, but it turned out in a other way. Uh, they were actually waiting for this kind of solution and they were aware that in foreign there are methods like electrical stimulation and magnetic stimulation with which uh, doctors are helping people suffering from migraine so they were actually waiting for this and when we demonstrated they appreciated it in a very uh, good manner that uh, this is something which could uh, reduce at least drug dependency which causes obesity liver issues and many other serious health conditions so the, so far the response has been could be are uh, now setting up experience center in bangalore and uh, we are in communication with the three hospitals uh, two clinics have already accepted the letter um, and uh, we are setting up this experience center where people can come up and try the device and they if they wish to have the device they can they can then purchase it So really? this is how it is working out. Great, it's good to know the acceptance level of your product. And Jayadeep, how cost effective and easily available it is to the people? Does it require any prescription? So uh, when we see into the category uh, which CDSU classifies, uh, so CDSU has classified it into class B category, and uh, and also it doesn't need prescription. because it is into class b category so people can directly uh, take it from the over the counter uh, it is also right now it is not available over the counter uh, we are channeling channelizing it through the doctors so doctor generally um, doctor generally demonstrate how this device could be useful for them but after that if they like it they come to us and then we uh, we take care of the logistics and other part so that is how it is working on great ajay the please tell us how cost effective is your product so the actual price of the device is 15000 but right now we are giving any discounted price of 10000 through doctors channel who are our partners Uh, but we see but if we see the similar uh, uh, not the similar method but uh, the stimulation devices like electrical stimulation and magnetic stimulation in uh, foreign market then they cost minimum 35000 to 45000 and uh, we are availing it in uh, a much less cost uh, to the migraine sufferer so i think it's uh, a very much uh, effective uh, cost wise to the migraine sufferers jaydeep it's good to know that uh, you are contributing to atmanirbhar bharat and uh, jaydeep it's a healthcare device so you may have done lot of product validation and how did you work on the product validation so ma'am uh, earlier we start the this when when we started this concept from 
that time lab testing we performed for uh, in relation to safety and efficacy of the device we tried on uh, many uh, people uh, who were uh, who were ready to you know try uh, how effective it is for migraine pain so in that way we collected more than 1000 uh, human trial data and uh, we also went through standard protocols and regulatory approval like cdsu approval and uh, other certification like iso and c for this device so this all process validates the uh, safety and efficacy of the device recently we are also uh, working with a few hospitals and clinics uh, who are our experience center and uh, that these centers are allowing uh, people to try the device so all these centers uh, are helping us in validating the device uh, validating the device and uh, the clinical trials is also going on with them so this this these are the steps which validates the device great to know like your product is already certified uh, by cdsco uh, uh, jaydeep where do you stand vice versa your uh, competitors in this segment so ma'am uh, we when we see uh, ourselves in the competitive landscape we see our direct competitor uh, from uh, the foreign products uh, because there are no uh, stimulation devices uh, especially for migraine uh, available in india so there are de- some devices which are available in foreign markets uh, and uh, these devices work by methods such as electrical stimulation or magnetic stimulation now uh, there is uh, one big uh, issue with this stimulation technique is that if we don't apply the electrodes which are placed over here properly in a very appropriate manner then the efficacy of the device the electrical stimulation device or the magnetic stimulation device goes down very drastically this doesn't happen with the sound stimulation technique especially the sound stimulation technique which we have developed that is bone conducting infrasound wave uh, that is uh, passed through our patented transducer so in this transducer if we place it over here or here or even here little bit uh, at uh, minor uh, misplacement is there then also the bone conducting sound will conduct and it will reach the nerve area like trigeminal nerve and uh, occipital nerve and it will stimulate it and it will change the brain activity and it will ease down the pain so this is the one big advantage that our technology has and that is how we are very different uh, in the in the use case also because in their method sometime medical supervision is required for normal user to place it properly but in our case it doesn't require even if if you see from video or if one time the doctor is telling you to place it this way that's okay it's good to know your unique solution for this uh, problem uh, jaydeep what is the market size for such products how do you plan to position yourself in the healthcare market so uh, ma'am as i told migraine is the third most common illness in the world by figure it is uh, 1 billion people suffer from migraine but if we see uh, that what are the what who are those people who try the device or uh, definitely uh, need this solution then uh, there are certain kind of uh, uh, personalities like uh, like people uh, who are having migraine more than 6 or 5 times in a month they definitely need this kind of device because the drug dependency will keep on increasing and in that way it will be very uh, very difficult for them to uh, you know uh, uh, reduce the side effects then uh, there are uh, some um, uh, women who cannot tolerate a certain kind of um, uh, medicines because of uh, uh, hormonal issues then uh, uh, pregnant women so these are the categories in which uh, there is a strong use case and uh, also we are targeting to the age of uh, people from 30 to 
because this is the age where uh, mostly the migraine is in um, more number of uh, frequencies so these are the categories where we are targeting our device right now yeah it's good to know that you have rightly identify your uh, beneficiaries and uh, jaydeep uh, what are the challenges that you face at the onset of your journey as an entrepreneur so initially um, when we started this journey at uh, those time uh, we used to design many things uh, for testing and uh, there there would be vendors uh, where the company will approach to get it fabricated but since we were startup and uh, uh, with very limited financial resources so they were all asking for the moq that was the big challenge i still remember uh, those times uh, we used to do most of our uh, uh, research work with the already available device already available like if we need coil if we need coil uh, then we used to take it out from the already devices which uh, uses coil voice coil like a headphone or uh, this kind of things so that was the frugal way of doing it and and that was the biggest thing which we is but uh, but our mentors um, i would like to take their names uh, uh, deepak bhopatkar sir and uh, sudarshan natu they helped us uh, uh, very much in uh, in passing through the, those hurdles and um, also our team we are very much uh, you know uh, stable uh, with these hurdles also because sometimes we were planning like we will be doing it in 15 days and since the other industries or vendors were not responding for our low quantity uh, we were keep uh, trying with different techniques or other methods there were many times where uh, we were uh, we 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 we, uh, we were running out of funds and uh, there was financial crisis but uh, still uh, there was a good hope that uh something would come up and that's how we uh, we we kept doing it and now at this stage it is quite stable right now and uh, uh, since the r&d part is also over now we are approaching to doctors the real uh, consumers and the response has been so uh, so far good great jay that it's good to know that you have right mentors and right team for your product development uh, jay please tell us about the funding that you have received and how you utilized it so for ma'am um, so we started from the aict grant uh, when we first uh, uh, won the competition at that time uh, we got winning prize of 1 lakh that was the first amount and then uh, we we were all promised that we would be getting 10 lakh grant and uh, but it took one year we waited for one year but at that time one year it was not the uh, idle wait we were uh, striving with our uh, family and friends money to develop the solution and uh, we started uh, the real development in 2018 in 2017 we developed the core idea uh, the prototype and in 2018 uh, industrial uh, uh, standard development started from 2018 to 19 we developed the solution uh, at that time we also pivoted the many times uh, the solution which was developed like uh, we were trying to go into the uh, disability sector like um, autism and other categories uh, but then we realized that's not the good uh, market to tap right now uh, so we moved uh, to stress market then we uh, in that process of testing we finally uh, we found out that uh people who are having a headache because of stress or uh, many reasons and especially the migraine where uh, we are saying that uh, this is very fantastic solution because in just 20 minutes the migraine headache pain were very uh, red- getting reduced significantly so that's how uh, in earlier days we used to uh, develop the solution right as you rightly said jaydeep you need to pivot your solution at some point of time you can't uh, scat- cater to all the beneficiaries so it's good to know that you also pivoted your solution and jaydeep what are your future plans and goals so ma'am as i said uh, the brahmanch has a vision to serve the domain of mental health care in which uh, migra relief is the first product but we have been also supported by uh, many uh, institutes uh, in terms of fundings and other supports 
uh, where we are del- we have developed but uh, we are not into the market uh, for those products that are a gsr based biofeedback device which helps in uh, monitoring the mental health activity so we can know earlier uh, much earlier that this person is going to have the anxiety or uh, this going person is suffering from anxiety and uh, this uh, device is called sunyam which makes proper chart of the mental health uh, tracking uh, which helps in monitoring the uh, mental health stages mental health stages it is very useful for psychologist and uh, for biofeedback training uh, the third product is uh, the third product is uh, uh, hearing aid uh, there is a special category of uh, deafness as uh, that is called conductive hearing loss so this con- for this conductive hearing loss uh, uh, till now there are products which have been imported and they cost 1.5 lakh to uh, 2 lakh uh, so we have developed the solution which will cost in uh, 50000 not more than 50000 and uh, it will help people uh, who are uh, having conductive hearing loss so these are the products which are in pipeline but uh, our major focus is into mental health care so we will be developing uh, the different uh, versions of the microlif also and uh, we are also developing the community around that with the help of app where people can come up and have a discussion that how uh, what sort of methodology they have adopted to come up with the um, with the mental health hurdles great it's good to know that you have a lot of products in your pipeline for uh, based on this conduction and you said about that you have a- applied for the patent uh, can you just brief about your patent on this uh, technology so we have um, we had applied for the patent in 2019 and in 2021 we got granted patent grant granted for bone conduction uh, technology and uh, right now uh, this is a platform it's a kind of platform technology because we are using it for uh many different products so um, the the other patent which we are right now working is uh, for the microlif uh because there are features which in other version which are which we are adding so for that we are working congratulations uh great thank you ma'am uh, if you have to give a message or some advice to budding entrepreneur what would it be my message would be that uh every entrepreneur should uh, solve the problem which is very much linked to his own uh, uh, personality or what we say uh, the real issues and uh, not that uh, we, uh, they shouldn't be feeling like i am solving society's problem or this is somebody else's problem that i should solve because in that case uh, the real effort would not come out uh, if you think that this is my problem it should be solved i am developing something which is uh, which would be really helpful for me then uh, the real solution would come up this is the first message and uh, also adding into that that um, sometimes we are very much occupied with the solutions which are already available and we are stuck with that so keep your mind empty when we are thinking about the solution that is how we can go out of the box and come up with a great solution and that is how uh, universe works with us to bring out the best and that's my message yeah thank you jaydeep thank you for being with us it is like necessity is the base for innovation you wanted to reiterate to our innovators thank you for being with us we wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank you thank you ma'am innovative solutions in the healthcare sector can provide convenient effective and affordable treatments for nowadays changing and stressful times and increasingly empowered healthcare consumers we hope innovators like jaydeep keep up their good work in making our life easier with such innovative solutions and take our country to great heights so on this positive note i bid you goodbye thanks for watching namaskar